But Johnny, let's move on into our next topic, and we are now a Marvel podcast for the Woo! rest of the show. And the first one we're looking at is <laughs> Captain Marvel news, Captain Marvel theory, Captain Marvel speculation, news theory, news theory, and. What we are doing this off of is basically the Avengers and the MCU and how will Captain Marvel fit into both? Yes. Johnny, being our Marvel resident, I'm going to ask you, how do you think Captain Marvel will fit into A, the Avengers, and B, the MCU? Well, it's great because we got a video recently mm-hmm. that we uh, I found. From and, Emergency Awesome. Yes. Great YouTube channel, by yes, the way. Yes, it is. Um said a bunch of things about like news that I haven't caught up mm-hmm. on with yet. So we got a little bit more of what's going to happen in Captain Marvel. We're going to mm-hmm. get the Skrulls as the villain. Yeah. So which means and we're going to get Nick Fury with two eyes, two eyes, and at the end he'll have subplot one. losing subplot of Nick Fury losing an eye. Yeah, which will be cool to see how that mm-hmm. happens. The other part though being um, back to the main story, we're going to have her with the Skrulls. Now we already mm-hmm. knew from one of our previous podcasts you can see about Captain Marvel. Yep. Um, that is going to be based in the 90s. Yep. So now we get so we get an origin story of how she gets her powers mm-hmm. and then how it ties in with the Skrulls. Yeah. So it would also be the explanation of why she's not in any of the other Avengers stuff, mm-hmm. any of the other MCU stuff, not even the Guardians of the Galaxy. No, she's not. And she's kind of... I kind of feel like and this was mentioned in Emergency Awesome's yeah, video so. where I kind of can buy into the thing of... Well, the scroll invasion happens. Yeah. She goes off to basically contain the scroll. Clean up everything. Yeah, I need to contain this so it doesn't happen again kind of a thing. Yeah. And then she's coming back many, many years after what happened in the 90s yeah. happens. Maybe she'll hear, like, like because it's also a galaxy thing, mm-hmm. the universe thing, um, after, like, what happens. Because remember, the... Guardians of the Galaxy, wow, that was bad that I couldn't remember that one. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 happens a few months after Guardians of the Galaxy 1, even mm-hmm. though it came out how many years later? Yeah. Um, so what happens is maybe she, like, because word, it takes a, probably a while to get throughout the universe mm-hmm. in some ways, especially for her, who's not, like, yeah, connected to everyone. Mm-hmm. Hey, th- some of this shit's going down. Mm-hmm. And then she hears about Thanos, super-powered villain blah 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 well like okay so the scroll thing's contained maybe i should head back home and that's because we're exactly not supposed, where i could because we're it. not supposed to get her even in infinity wars no we're supposed to get her in whatever number two of the avengers, avengers four avengers four whatever the title yeah. is avengers four and i could totally see that where because avengers infinity wars yeah it looks like now it's supposed to be thanos collecting, collecting the all stones. the stones where because we're getting the be, Black Order. And that's the one thing that um, Emergency Awesome kind of displayed in his video of, like, one of the thumbnails that I used for one of our videos kind of shows the different groups that you're going to have. Yeah. You're going to have the Captain Rogers group that's with um, uh, Black Widow and Vision. You're going to have the Iron Spidey group. You're going to have um, Bucky, Black Panther, and Hulk up here. You're going to have Guardians of the Galaxy. Thor and Loki and up Thor there. over there. And each one is going, looks like it could contain a stone. Yeah. Whereas for sure we know that, well, we don't know for sure on one of them, but we can speculate pretty damn hard. Yeah. That the Thor group will probably have the Soul Stone. Yep. We... No matter who it's with, Heimdall or Odin, we're going to get to that in the other topic. Or the Vision group where we know the Mind Stone. Yep. So we know that that is have one. But then what stone or what um, gem will the Iron Man one have? Will they have the Tesseract? Will they have... Oh, I have Agamotto. Yes, that's right. Doctor Strange. So time Stone. The Time Stone. Then what about the Black Panther, the... Bucky and Hulk group. See, that's what I'm wondering because we basically get in the movie that mm-hmm. he has the Tesseract. Mm-hmm. What else do we have? There's the ether left over. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you're going to get a hold of that. Yeah. And then um, I'm trying to think who do we who what do we have left? I'm looking them up. We now. did soul, mind, we got soul, mind, and um, time. Time. So let's see the. Give me, give me a picture. The reality, which is the ether. Mm-hmm. Then we have the tesseract, which is the space. Um, space one. 
And then we've got here, let me missing see. one. So we've got the space stone, which is a tesseract. Yes. We've got the mind stone, which is envision. Yeah. Um, we've got the aether, which is the reality stone. That's with the collector. At Ooh, this the moment. orb. The orb. The power stone. Yes, which is with the uh, Nova Core. Yes. At this time. Does Thanos have any of them? Um, I know in the trailer we see him, he has the Space Stone. So he he has the Tesseract. He somehow gets a hold of the Tesseract. I don't know okay. if Loki gives it to him, if he goes to... I think um, he does, because in one of the trailers, I think Loki hands it to him. Maybe. Me. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, all I know is um, he gets he's, he gets the Tesseract, because mm-hmm. you can tell, blatantly tell, because when he just kind of like blue, the bluish with the black in the middle, yeah. wormhole appears, and he steps through. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Um, that's how we know he has the space stone because he's only got one stone in there so far, at least in the trailers we've seen. Yeah, because as of right now, and I, correct me if some of these have changed. Yeah. On this picture that I'm looking at, and I'll put it up for you guys so you can see it, is it says the space stone. Um, it gives you where we found it, like what movie, what it was in, and then who has it. Yeah. So space stone, we've got. It's been in Thor, Captain America, Avengers, yes. Tesseract, um, Asgard, Heimdall. What, 2012 is the date. Then the Mind Stone, it gives you all the movies, the Shatari Scepter, Earth and Vision. That one Wait, we know is still with Vision. Say that, say that last one it again. It the Space Stone was with Heimdall. Yeah, but that yes was tw- and no. But that was 2012. Yes and no. Um, it was in... But now was, with everything, with Ragnarok, that has changed. It was technically being kept in... Odin's, uh, Odin's um, trophy room. Yeah. Um, then we have for the reality stone, it says nowhere the collector's museum. Yes. Have we had the anything? Ether, the reality stone? Yeah. Have we had anything that would have suggested that that would change? The only way I can think is if the explosion from Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. At the end of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Yeah. Was that after Thor the Dark World? Yeah. Then, yeah, that, I mean, that's the only thing that could have changed something in, in a sense. Then the Power Stone, it says the Nova Core um, vault. And then yeah. the um, Eye of Agamotto is in the um, Kamar Thai or the Kamar Taj library. Yeah. For because we know the Time Stone Doesn't and seem we very know Kamar that Taji. we know that the time and mind, we actually know where they are. Yeah. Doctor Strange has it. Mm-hmm. And Vision has it. Yes. So we blatantly know where it is. So we have the other groups. And what I think it is, is the Space Stone, I think, will be given to him. I think Loki will give him the Tesseract. It, Whereas yeah. the Mind Stone, one of his Black Order will have to get it from Vision. The Time Stone, one of the Black Order will have to get it from um, Iron Man. What if there is something where. The Thor group, because think about it, most of that Thor group mm-hmm. has the Guardians in it. Yeah. If Star Lord's like, we got to help the Nova Corps, we yeah. can't let them get that Power Stone because we know what it can do. Like him, Rocket, Groot, Drax, they know what it can do. So they go off to help the Nova Corps, but then it leaves the other group of. Then is the depending on where the aether is. Yeah, is that where the Hulk, Black Panther, Bucky group kind of play into this? Part of me says yes. Part of me says how are they going to get there though? Like how do they get to without like the, the right now the mm-hmm. Malau is the only thing we know of having to actually get to um anywhere in space basically so mm-hmm. to get to nowhere for example or okay. wherever his uh, maybe he has multiple i don't mm-hmm. know the collector um so i i don't know how they're going to get there exactly because they don't have the space stone to use for that because the tesseract um apparently is with um thanos in the trailers i don't know how that's the other thing is we don't know how soon they get it yeah and the other thing i'm looking at with this poster now too which you said you're going to post up there for yeah that. i will you got the black order in there we got Kind of cool that they're like kind of splitting the groups up a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Um, you notice though too that yeah you got the Captain America group, um, and maybe it's just something with the spacing. But um, Scarlet Witch and Vision are set back a little bit extra than like the groups are more mm-hmm. maintained together. So I don't know if that's going to be a little bit something in there a little bit, or if that's just kind of like how they decide to lay the poster out. I'm just throwing that out there. 
Here's the last thing I have on the Aether, because that's the one I wanted to look up. Yeah. I'm looking right now at the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, wiki page. Okay. And it says, afterwards, the Asgardians were able to contain the Aether, which yeah. was later given to the Collector. Yes, exactly. For safekeeping, not knowing the true intentions the, collector, the collector had. Then it was the vision with Thor, where Thor had a vision of the Infinity Stones and their role in the events in previous years, the Aether included. It is revealed that the Aether can indeed take the shape of an Infinity Stone yeah. rather than being a liquid. So right now we still... It's it's contained it's, with, the with the Collector. As of we know, I'm just saying something mm -hmm. could have happened in the explosion, but you know what? I'm not saying something did, so I'm not going to go with the speculation, oh, something happened. Unless, no, I'm just going to go unless with Unless somehow... Uh, it's in El Dorado with Black Panther, and it somehow gets there. Maybe that's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah, I mean the only. I mean it's either that. I don't know honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, how it could have met, it made it over there mm -hmm. though. So as of now, I'm just gonna say that it's with the collector as it was before, and that's the only one that's kind of like, how do they get it? Exactly. How is they? Like, that's who, the only one that's questioning who's how going, they get who's it. Who's going to protect it? Because we've got Vision, we've got um. The Eye of Agamotto, and then we know Nova Corps, we can link the Guardians to it. But exactly. kind of getting back, because we've kind of went yes. on a Infinity tangent. Stone tangent. tangent. Yeah. Important tangent, because it plays it into so Avengers we... 4, or Avengers um, Infinity War. Like, that's going to... So Avengers Infinity War is going to set up everything that has to do with obtaining to it. Yes. And where Captain Marvel's going to come in, is I feel like everything that happened... In Infinity War mm -hmm. is going to get to her. Where right now she is containing the, the the scroll, scroll, and she's trying to make sure that they never have the power to invade Earth again. Yeah, basically, like they did. She, she's got almost uh, almost two decades of cleanup going on, mm -hmm. depending on where in the nineties it takes place. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that should be like long enough to where it's like, oh, like she maybe she hears, oh shit, the Earth is in real trouble. I need to get over there. And then there. she comes back. Yeah. And the thing, though, that I have, the only problem I have with this okay, is, so she'll be in Avengers 4, she'll be the trump card. She's basically the trump card of the Avengers, how do we beat Thanos, here comes Captain Marvel to save the day. Yes, and in a sense. I just, I feel like Avengers 4, how do you play it in to where it's not just like, well, Captain Marvel's here, woo, day, game over. Like, that's how I feel like it's going to be, where it's going to be Captain Marvel's powerful enough to just, boom, defeat Thanos. Yeah, man, well, I, I'm hoping, and this is, I'm not going to say they do Unless it well. Unless the gauntlet kind of raises him to another level over her. Yeah, well. Because by that time, I'm assuming he'd have all five stones. Yeah, that's the thing. that We're going to have to see how it plays out with him getting or the- six stones, I should say. Six stones. We're going to see how it plays out with him getting the- inf Completed Infinity Gauntlet because mm -hmm. we got. I think a lot of it's going to be, as they said, Infinity Wars is going to be the collection of him getting him and the Black Order collecting mm -hmm. the Infinity Stones for him to have the Gauntlet. The other, then it comes to that part of, do does he get all of them? The Avengers have to stop each of those Black Order, Black um. Mm -hmm. Generals, yeah, I think is what they're going. Or with. his sons, is his what sons his and daughters, daughters and the um, children are going to have to. They're going to fight them off and keep mm -hmm. them from getting the stones. Mm -hmm. um, if he does, um, they have to group together to fight him. Yeah, maybe what it is is that she gives them that she gives them that push to actually defeat him instead of saying, "Oh, superpower over here, um, she's coming in to save the day." Let me throw something out there. Okay, and I don't think this is going to happen. But I'm just thinking about it, and okay. maybe it does happen. What if in Infinity Wars, Thanos is able to get the space, mm -hmm. the mind, the power, the time, the soul stone, but he doesn't get the reality stone. He's missing one stone. And in Avengers 4, Captain Marvel comes in and goes, hey, you're looking for this? Where she had somehow gotten the stone through being in the galaxy and running into yeah. the collector. Where it's like, or she tells the Avengers, I don't know, he can't do anything. He doesn't have this. Mm -hmm. And Avengers 4 is basically, hey, he collected most of the stones. He gets this, we're fucked. Yeah. Kind of a thing. 
I mean, they would even throw in the idea like, of even, why the fuck did you bring that here? Because even the big question is, is he going like if you are Kevin Feige, if you're James Gunn, if you're Marvel, mm-hmm. do you even let Thanos assemble the full gauntlet at the end of Infinity War? Or do you leave one piece? Uh, one string out there untied. That's the question, because again, we don't know how anyone else is going to get to it. Because mm-hmm. the only way we have out way to get to space, and that's if Thanos has the Tesseract at the time. The only way to get there is a well, because we're going to have a destroyed a- um, Asgard. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say, well, oh, there's also the the um, the bridge, the bridge. But no, that if the Asgard's destroyed, mm-hmm. that's gone too. Yeah, there's no Bifrost. Plus, I think they're in space at some point because in the trailer, I don't know if some of the parts on the trailer, like when they're all together for Infinity War, yeah, is that on Earth or is that in space? See, that's a good question because um, it doesn't seem like Earth necessarily. Mm-hmm. It's way too destroyed, way too yeah, um, anything. But I mean, mm-hmm. for all we know, it could be. It could be space, which they're in. Could be space too, yeah. But I think what Captain Marvel kind of just to put a bow on this yeah. is I feel like she's going to come in and I I don't know if they let Thanos assemble the full gauntlet. The, Maybe like, the not. full one, all six stones. Because I feel like if he had all six, it would be a I'm destroying the world type of a Yeah, thing. it'd be too quick for him to de- be able to destroy the world because I feel like, again, mm-hmm. like I said previously, um, she's going to more so be the one that comes in and puts that extra push for to be able to defeat Thanos. Not that they, not that they um, need her mm-hmm. to, oh, we can't, we definitely can't, like, 100% can't do this without her. It'd just be knockout, drag out to will we? It'd be like a, a 50 50 chance where this pushes mm-hmm. it over the edge to the okay, now we can win. And I don't know, like, I am looking right now, and what I'm thinking in my head yes. is that the reality stone is going to be the one left out. Now, if I had to pick each one, that would be if the one. If we're going to leave one out, that's going to be the one, yeah. Because really, it's, it's with the collector, unless it's just they do something where one of the Black Order goes to the collector and gets it. And that's the easiest one to get. That would be the way to, that that'd be one way to play it off because mm-hmm. that would be the that would be the easiest one to get. Yeah, where it's basically the black order just goes and takes it from the collector. That could happen, but I think that it would be cool. Captain Marvel comes; she has the reality stone, and like even like you said, if like Tony's like, "What the fuck? Why did you bring that here? Yeah. Why did you bring that here? He needs that's the that. one he needs, and, and that's the one that's dangerous because he can change all of reality. Yeah. And, I mean, with Captain Marvel, it's also going to be interesting how, and the thing that I think about is, how powerful are they going to make her? Yeah. To where, is she going to be the trump card against Thanos, or is it going to be she comes in, they still get their ass kicked for a little bit, but then she learns what to do to defeat Thanos. Yeah. You can't make her too powerful. No. When you're going up against Thanos because you want it to be a struggle, you want it to be... An entertaining movie. Yeah. Any final thoughts on? This? Well, this is some other things I okay. one or two other things Go I ahead. was gonna throw out there. We already have so like you can't like you said you can't make her mm-hmm. make her too powerful because you already got some pretty big superpowers in okay. there. Thor being one of them. Hulk. I actually mm-hmm. read something where Thanos actually considers Hulk a threat. Really? Because of how powerful he is. Yeah. Th- mm. Thanos is super powerful. And I'm. This is just something I read in a, like a little article, a little uh, snippet. It's just like, yeah, but he does consider Th- Hulk a huge because like, he's so strong. He's so strong. I mean, yeah, Th- Thanos can beat him. There's been comics and he can beat him, mm-hmm. but Hulk is just puts up that much of a fight. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, he's like, okay, I don't want to deal with it. The other thing, one more thing, is if these groups aren't set in stone mm-hmm. on this thing, Loki knows passages. Around he everything does. in the realms. That's the only other thing I just thought of a minute ago. Mm-hmm. I remembered a minute ago. It's like Loki knows all these passages yeah. and stuff. And he even says in past movies, like, I have have these passages. Yeah, exactly. Well, we see it in Thor. Um, or is that the scene with, that's the scene with Chris Evans, right? Where he's like, I'm Captain America. And they're no, walking. No, not that. Uh, yeah, yes and no. It's like shortly after that scene where that, they take the boat, go through yes. that tunnel really quick. They pop out. Ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got that to it, too. So that's the only other thing is as long mm-hmm. as you, like, maybe split it off so maybe they give the other group the Milano to use and yeah. then we'll have to see, wait and see what happens it, with that. It's going to be interesting how it they is. fit Captain Marvel into the Avengers and the MCU. But this is where I want to turn on 
to you guys. Let us know what you guys think about Captain Marvel. Like, two-parter. Yeah. First off, how does she fit in? But I really do want to know that second question of when she does get to Avengers 4, what is she going to be like? Because yeah. that's the one thing of, I know she's going to be the reason why they're able to beat Thanos. Why they're able to overall, yeah. But how powerful are they going to make her? I want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section.